Make sure it has the mother with it. That is what has all the good benefits. If you don't love apple cider vinegar or if you're not yet used to apple cider vinegar, make sure that you start small and add more in as you get used to it. I think I started with one teaspoon and now I'm up to about two teaspoons and I love it. It has a little bit of um, a zest to it and I really like that so make sure you start small if you're not used to it. So I'm going to start by shaking it up and then I am going to put, like I said, a couple teaspoons in the bottom of my teacup. The next ingredient I'm going to use is lemon essential oil. Now I only use Young Living essential oils because they are beyond organic and in my opinion the best essential oils out there. Make sure whatever it is that you use that you are using a high, high quality organic essential oil. This is great for detoxing and for boosting the immune system and I love the little bit of lemon that it adds to the tea. So I just use one drop. If you accidentally get two, it's no big deal, but I aim for one. Oh, I got two. See? Okay, the next thing I am going to put in is cinnamon. Now, you can use a half a teaspoon or a teaspoon. I start small because a lot of times this will tend to kind of sit and hang out on the top of the tea. So make sure that you stir it a lot whenever you're drinking it to get the cinnamon in, mixed in with the tea so you don't get a big like drink full of cinnamon. So I am doing about three quarters of a teaspoon. The last ingredient before we add our actual water is honey. The best honey you can use is local honey because it has all the added benefits that you need for your local area. If you don't have local honey, grab a really high quality organic honey. The whole point of this tea is to help boost your immune system and to detox your body. So the last thing we want to do is add toxins and yucky stuff to the tea. That's why it's important if you're going to make this tea that you use the best ingredients. Now I use about a teaspoon of honey. If you're making it for your kids, you might have to use more. I don't know, whatever their palate de desires. Um, it's worth using a little extra in order to get them to drink the tea because all the other things have so many added benefits. So I'm gonna put in about a teaspoon of honey. Okay, and now we are ready for the hot water. So I slowly add in my hot water as I stir, just to make sure everything gets incorporated really nicely. It smells so amazing. <laughs> that lemon essential oil paired with the cinnamon is just so yummy. I drink uh, at least one cup of this every single day during the winter. Anytime I start having a sore, scratchy throat or I feel like I'm getting congested, I will immediately go make a cup of this tea. Um, if I'm feeling under the weather, I will have several cups every day until I'm starting to feel like I'm on the mend. And obviously, drink this along with eating healthy and clean and doing your best to take care of your body in other ways. Um, this is just one small way that you can help boost your immune system. Okay, now let's give it a taste. You guys, that is so good. Like, I would drink this every single day, even if I wasn't feeling sick or didn't need to boost my immune system necessarily. It is that good. I promise you're gonna love it, and I promise your kids will even be willing to try it. So, make sure that you 
go to my blog post where I have the recipe for this tea. You can print it off and keep it in your kitchen so that you always have a tea to make whenever you are feeling a bit under the weather or trying to boost your immune system. Make sure that if you don't subscribe already, that you subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment letting me know if you tried the tea and what you thought of it or what other videos you'd like to see here on The Quick Journey. I hope you guys have a really great day. We'll chat later. Bye.